The city of Green Bay is the oldest city in the state of Wisconsin and we can pump up to 42 million gallons of water a day into our city. When I started work in 2012, I was aware that in 2011 they had exceeded their lead action level. The National Drinking Water Advisory Council had just submitted from their lead and copper group to the EPA their recommendations for the new revision that was going out. And one of those revisions was for the utilities to start replacing their lead services. I knew one of the members of that subgroup, Carrie Lewis, was the superintendent to Milwaukee Water. I called her on the phone and I said, Carrie, is it true that you're going to be recommending lead service replacements? And she said to me, how many services do you have? And I said, we're under 2,000. She goes, go get your backhoe and get it out there and start digging. But we needed to develop messages to our community of what was going on in our city. We knew that we had to get to some of our larger customers and our elected officials in the city of Green Bay before it went into the news um, for the general public because they needed to know what we were doing, what was happening, and before that the people did so they could help answer questions. We needed them to be able to cooperate with us so that we could get the lead out and by having as many people know what was going on as possible, it helped us to convince the public that we were doing the right thing. That's the number one thing that we should be doing to build trust in, our, in the safety of our water. And if you haven't started, you know, reach out, start talking with people, get it in your budgets, <laughs> get a communicator on, on board to help you